accused of exploiting musicians, Suno AI and Udio AI, sued by three major world music labels. Artificial intelligence, AI technology, is being questioned again in the music industry. This time, the three largest music companies in the world sued artificial intelligence, AI, song-making startup Suno and Udio for copyright infringement. The three record labels are Sony Music Entertainment, Universal Music Group Recordings, and Warner Records, which are part of the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. In a lawsuit filed on Monday, 24-6-2024, Suno and Udio were accused of copying and exploiting musicians' recordings to create similar music and make money. One case was filed in federal court in Boston against Suno AI, and another case in New York against Uncharted Labs, the developer of Udio AI. All three major record labels said in their complaints that Suno and Udio produced works like Dancing Queen, that even die-hard ABBA fans would have difficulty distinguishing from the original recording. The songs cited in Udio's lawsuit include Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You and My Girl by The Temptations. In full, here are some of the copyrighted songs that are considered exploited by the AI program. All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey, Great Balls of Fire by Jerry Lee Lewis, I Get Around by The Beach Boys, Dancing Queen, ABBA's I Got You, I Feel Good by James Brown, Sway, American Idiot, My Girl by The Temptations, Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, the motif is very commercial and threatens to replace original human works of art, which is the essence of copyright protection, the record label said in its lawsuit. The lawsuit by Sony Music Entertainment, Universal Music Group Recordings, and Warner Records asks for compensation of $150,000 U.S. dollars, around $246 billion, per work. Sony Music Entertainment Universal Music Group Recordings and Warner Records said that AI cannot be an excuse for AI companies in audio to play by the rules and warned that massive theft of recorded music threatens the entire music ecosystem. Petition of 200 musicians against AIC Photos singer Billie Eilish, posing with five 2020 Grammy Awards trophies at the Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, on January 26, 2020. Billie Eilish scooped the Grammys for Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, Best New Artist and Best Pop Vocal Album, AFP Getty Images, North America, Alberto E. Rodriguez. These lawsuits come just months after about 200 artists, including Billie Eilish, Nicki Minaj, Stevie Wonder, Frank Sinatra, and Bob's representatives Marley, signed the open letter. This open letter calls for protection against the predatory use of artificial intelligence or AI that imitates artists' voices and other things related to musical creativity. This letter was issued by the advocacy group Artists' Rights Alliance, which is demanding that technology companies promise not to develop AI that could weaken or replace humans as songwriters and artists. These lawsuits join a wave of lawsuits from authors, news organizations, and other groups challenging AI companies' rights to use their work. Udio AI said in the past the AI company argued that its use of the material, a musician's music recordings, was legal under the Fair Use Doctrine. This doctrine allows copyrighted works to be used without a license under certain conditions, such as for satire and news. Proponents of this doctrine compare machine learning with AI tools to the way humans learn by reading, listening, and viewing previous works. Udio said in a blog post on Tuesday that it had absolutely no interest in reproducing the content. Udio says its system is explicitly designed to create music that reflects new musical ideas. We stand by our technology and believe that generative AI will become a mainstay of modern society, said the New York-based company, as compiled by the BBC Thursday, 2760-2024. Meanwhile, Suno has not yet commented on this issue. Suno, based in Massachusetts, released its first product last year and claims more than 10 million people have used its tools to make music. The company, which partners with Microsoft, charges a monthly fee for its services and recently announced it had raised 125 million U.S. dollars from investors. 
So what do you think, guys? Please write in the comments column and don't forget to like and subscribe.